Our research has focused on women in Sub-Saharan Africa because women in that part of the world are disproportionately affected and infected with HIV. There are two million new infections globally every year. Seventy percent of these occur in Sub-Saharan Africa and within Sub-Saharan Africa, sixty percent of those are among women. Because of traditional gender norms, women tend to have less power in their sexual relationships and have less power to prevent HIV. So we evaluated technologies that women could control themselves with an idea of women uh, being empowered to prevent themselves from getting HIV infection. To address that, we needed to deal with the gender inequalities that were common in Africa, and we had to deal with gender norms. So a lot of our social and behavioral research explored why women were at particular risk, which will allow us in the future to design better ways for them to protect themselves. FHI 360, with support from the United States Agency for International Development, applied its expertise to the challenge of HIV prevention under a five-year contract called the Preventive Technologies Agreement. To me, the PTA is about bringing a lot of complementary skill sets together and working on projects that have a lot of uh, synergy among them. It's the structure, it's the infrastructure around what this research is and how we get a chance to tell the story about women and HIV and HIV prevention. The Preventive Technologies Agreement represents the culmination of the United States Agency for International Development's investment in sexual and reproductive health over the last 40 years. We have seen this begin with an investment in contraceptive research which allowed the introduction of modern contraception to low resource settings. And it evolved as we started seeing the importance of sexually transmitted infections, and especially HIV, to involve the full field of sexual and reproductive health. I think a key feature of the Preventive Technologies Agreement, or the PTA, was its breadth. The PTA had multiple focus areas. At its inception, there were seven. We were involved in HIV prevention clinical trials, socio-behavioral research, site capacity strengthening, global leadership for science facilitation, developing and implementing a strategy for family planning and HIV integration, addressing gender-related barriers that might prevent women from utilizing HIV prevention technologies, developing tools to work with youth on HIV prevention, and monitoring quality of pharmaceuticals and other commodities. The way in which the PTA was designed allowed us flexibility to be responsive to serendipitous observations that we had as we conducted clinical trials or when our teams were on the field and working with investigators, working with service providers, coming up with new ideas. The Preventive Technologies Agreement enabled FHI 360 to realize its goal using science to improve lives. We found answers or we were able to help validate that there are products that will be efficacious in addressing HIV prevention, but we also were able to think about under what circumstances. My goodness, there are dozens of examples of where the PTA contributed to FHI 360's tagline, The Science of Improving Lives. Our deep commitment to bringing a scientific approach and evidence to every issue played out very strongly under the PTA. We had high standards in conducting research and we have an absolute commitment to communicating results and to engaging the community more broadly and helping them to understand those results and then to eventually apply those results to programs. So I, I strongly believe that the PTA was a shining example of the science of improving lives. The Preventive Technologies Agreement has been a wonderful mechanism to, for FHI 360 to partner with the U.S. Agency for International Development and develop capacity, capacity within FHI 360 and our scientists, as well as our many partner institutions, local organizations in Africa. We plan to continue those partnerships, uh, continue to develop that capacity, and build upon the foundation that the, the Preventive Technologies Agreement has, has provided us.